old Alabama gardener. In this video, I'm going to show you my experiment on growing roots on sweet potato slips. So this is a sweet potato slip. Getting kind of long, but that's okay. And so the, the challenge always is that once you have grown a slip like this, to get it into the ground out in the garden and, and growing without dying, especially when the weather is hot, sometimes can be difficult. So I wanted to run an experiment to see how long or how many days it would take me to grow roots on a slip like this that doesn't have any roots. And so that's what this video is all about. So what's in it for you? Well, if you're, if you're growing sweet potatoes, uh, this is good information because it helps you with timing. Timing about when to start things, like when to start growing your slips, when to harvest your slips off of the sweet potato and start growing roots on the slip. See, all of it has to do with timing. Now, when it comes to planting sweet potatoes, you can plant a slip like this right here. You notice it doesn't have any roots on it. And it might grow and it might die. That would be a chance you would be taking. So what I want to show you, though, is a, what I call a sure way of success. Potato slip grown on the sweet potato and pulled off the sweet potato right there. So what I want to do is an experiment to see how many days or how long does it take for this slip that does not have any roots to start growing roots. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in smaller pieces because I don't need it to be that long. So we'll cut right here. And then I'm going to take off this bottom leaf here and we'll take that one off too. And now we're going to put it in a water bottle. I've got a hole cut here and a hole cut right there for drainage. So we'll put this in a water bottle. So we'll have it like that right there. What we'll be looking for is when the roots come out to where they're touching the outer edge of our water bottle, and that way we'll know and we can see that the roots are developing. But the next step here is to get this water. You need to keep it watered really well. No roots touching the side of the water bottle yet. All right, so now today is the 29th of June. See, we started this on a little experiment on the 24th of June at 10 a.m. And uh, I had made some, sh some cuttings, sweet potato cuttings, with no roots. And I wanted to know how many days it would take for me to grow some roots and have them ready to set in the garden. So then on the 26th of June, two days later at about 4 p.m., the roots were forming. And so today is 29 June, and right now it's about uh, 6 p.m., and the roots are out to the side of the bottle, so I'm going to show you. This is one of the middle cuttings. Now look at the roots on it. A lot of roots on it. See, it's ready to go into the garden. It's ready to be planted in the garden. We'll start with this one first. Okay, looking at the bottom, we see a lot of good roots right there. And when we open it up inside, we also see a lot of roots. Okay, so let's dump this one and see what it looks like. So it's like, wow, look at the roots on this thing. See, we can open it up here. Wow, look at the roots. But these cuttings up here at the top have made good roots. So I think that answers my question 
about how many days does it take for me to grow roots on a slip that does not have roots to get it ready to go in the garden and my answer is five days.